Okay, I just I thought he... Okay. Thank you, Farnak, for your time. You're welcome. But I think it's not slideshow because I, I can't see your um, notes as well. Ah. So, so, so the problem. You need to change your. Um, Swap now? Your screen. Yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, yeah. Just uh, be, be <laughs> sure about this tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I'm showing everything. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. Okay, this thank is you. for practice. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, so, uh, how I can start actually? Mm -hmm. If if the doctor will fix in a uh, hand hand over hand over the uh, session, then I uh, I would say uh, thank thanks to Doctor Rafik for sharing uh, my uh, for for giving permission for sharing my screen, and I like to thank everyone for being here with my presentation. I I heard there's some echo because yeah because of we we are we are near in... this. Oh, okay, okay okay it's no problem. Uh, I want to extend my gratitude to my own supervisor, Professor Manojan Paul. Uh, he's my supervisor and also my mentor and my co-supervisor, Dr. Tonmoy. Sorry, Dr. Anwar and Dr. Tonmoy. And uh, I would like to say a special thanks to the committee member because uh, without their uh, effort, today's session is really impossible. So I'd like to uh, share my screen and I here is my research topics. My research topics is an efficient quantum MSG presentation for compression and processing. The question is, what is quantum computer? Uh, now we are living in the classical computer, era of the classical computer, which work on a uh, classical bit like zero and one. At the very first, the uh, quantum computer uh, idea is given by the Nobel uh, scientist uh, whose name is Richard Feynman. Uh, he is given the idea, uh, it's about 1980 uh, uh, with uh, Yuri Manin. And uh, he told that if you want to simulate the real scenario, then classical computer is impossible to handle this because uh, the quantum mechanics has the power to simulate uh, the scenario like real a real system that's why uh, uh, he proposed uh, quantum mechanics first and then uh, he tried to uh, put the quantum uh, mechanics system in the computer domain and then he claimed the new domain means the quantum computer formation and later, in 1985, the, one of the scientists, uh, his name is Deust, uh, he shows that uh, if we put the image data in a quantum domain, then we can uh, store the image and also reproduce is too faster than classical because uh, the orbit in the quantum mechanics is really faster, faster than the classical uh, production. The second picture is the uh, visualize the how the orbital of quantum mechanics work, and the third picture is the theoretical view how we represent the information uh, of image in the uh, quantum mechanics. Now the third picture is known as the Bloch sphere. Uh, this one is uh, uh, actually represent the three dimension in quantum mechanics. Uh, the difference between the quantum mechanics is that the quantum mechanics is really uh, based on the qubit system. Uh, the qubit is the formation of zero and one, but uh, not only pure zero and one, it is the matrix formation of the zero and one. The zero qubit is the column matrix uh, by one and zero, and one qubit is the zero and one. Uh, this is the classical picture we are showing because this picture is represented in the classical computer. And so if you want to represent this one in the quantum mechanics, so we have to uh, convert it the classical data in the quantum domain. The right side uh, shows the picture, but this is the uh, in quantum domain. This is not the classical. For representing image in quantum domain, uh, we we need the two bit. Uh, one is for pixel representation, and another is for corresponding pixel uh, position. 
But uh, to generate the position, uh, we need to use the quantum gate, that quantum operational gate. And recently in the worldwide, the quantum computer makes some revolution in research because uh, of their faster production of the data. And lots of the research, research shows that the quantum computer is uh, making some supremacy, like uh, it can break the classical cryptography in a too much shorter way. If the classical computer needs 10 years, but a quantum computer needs more than hours, uh, that means it's too faster uh, to break the encryption and other things. Although this is not a positive thing, but uh, people are trying to use the faster uh, theme in uh, other way, like uh, how do we produce the data in the quantum domain. And in Australia, uh, the, recently, uh, they put the budget at about 52.5 million. The biggest budget is uh, by USA. They put in 844 uh, million in for 2023 for doing quantum research and developing quantum computer. This is the application of the quantum computing. Uh, the first um, one is the weather forecasting. Then the left middle is uh, brain activity. The left bottom is uh, artificial intelligence, and the right side top is uh, radar making. It's still they are under investigation uh, for quantum uh, representation. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, for quantum application. And the right middle one is the quantum encryption with security. The last right uh, bottom is the big data analysis for quantum. Uh, this is the application of the quantum MS. Still, uh, there's lots of quantum image uh, field need to develop for mature. Uh, here's uh, some outline. Uh, one is the remote sensing, which is the biggest field in the art, and then imaging system. Then the third one is uh, uh, industry automation. And the last one is the biometrics. Uh, this figure shows the publication and the citation report uh, uh, for quantum image representation. The solid line shows the uh, citation report and the bar graph shows the uh, publication report between uh, 1991 uh, and 2022. The right figure uh, shows the publication and citation report for both uh, quantum image representation and compression. Uh, the solid line uh, shows the um, citation report and the bar graph shows the uh, publication frequent. The solid line shows that uh, before 2011, there was no research in citation and also little bit work in publication. And after that, uh, their citation and publication is going to increase. And this means that uh, people are doing uh, research on quantum computer and especially in quantum image representation and compression. And this means uh, the field is really vibrating right now. The first approach which uh, comfort the uh, quantum image into the um, pixel uh, domain representation in quantum is known as a qubit latex. Uh, the qubit latex actually uh, convert the monochromatic, monochromatic electromagnetic uh, field into the qubit system to represent in the uh, image data in the uh, quantum mechanics. That means a pure quantum system. Uh, due to the inspired by the pixel, like a classical uh, computer represent the pixel. Um, the FRQI approach um, tried to develop a method. The FRQI actually uh, did not represent the pixel directly, rather than uh, represent the uh, pixel directly, it's take the approximation. That means uh, it puts some conversion or equivalent of the pixel value, and then uh, represent those angle in uh, quantum domain. The cubic lattice has a uh, limitation, uh, it's two by two size. Uh, FRQI also the same uh, limitation is a two by two size. And also FRQI is limited to the binary system and the outcome is the probabilistic. Uh, it's uh, really uh, near about the impossible to re reconstruct the image accurately. This is the image uh, representation in mathematical form. Uh, uh, if you consider the FRQI image, uh, this is the equivalent circuit diagram uh, in quantum mechanics uh, of the of the MSI. After that, uh, the NEQR uh, approach was proposed, 
and this is the circuit diagram for AnyQR. The AnyQR uh, directly deal with the um, pixel value. That means it's directly map the pixel value rather than um, angle basic presentation like alpha QI. The, um, Advantage of this one, uh, this method directly uh, represent the pixel value, uh, like uh, classical pixel to the quantum pixel. There is no need a conversion in the middle. And this is the uh, pixel value, um, the equivalent pixel value uh, on the right side, and the left side is the equivalent uh, quantum circuit for any representation. Uh, this is the uh, two by two image size because NRQI is applicable for two by two image size. Uh, the limitation, another limitation of the uh, is limited to the square square size images. It cannot represent uh, right other size rectangular. After that, uh, the GQRI was proposed by the GN. Uh, uh, actually, this one is uh, applicable for both uh, rectangular and square images, but the representation is the similar. Uh, the defined with the uh, size size means. Uh, it can represent a rectangular. Um, uh, previously, the NQR cannot. This is the uh, equivalent pixel value of uh, the quantum representation of this image. I already this one. This is the limitation. Uh, the left side uh, shows the uh, DR image. The right side shows the um, equivalent pixel for 16 by 16 images. And those are the pixel value uh, of the right side images. After that, EFRQI was proposed in 2021. Uh, the EFRQI decreased the estate preparation piece. Uh, they proposed the Toffoli gate. For each pixel connection, they use the two Toffoli gate. One is for starting and another is for closing. Uh, the EFRQI representation is the much more efficient than the previous uh, method like AnyQR and FEQR process. This is the BEC method, which is Boolean expression compression, uh, actually is the pure quantum method. Uh, the problem of this method is that uh, it needs the lookup table uh, for every time um, I need to search, actually, uh, which combi combination uh, make it uh, compression purpose like uh, zero and one, like the left side figure, the solid dot shows the one and the gap dot shows the zero. If you combine these two and then uh, it's nullify each other and then other like uh, one, two synod get become one synod get and the two not get become one not get. Uh, the problem is that uh, how we can reconstruct from the right side image to the left side image. This is the um, classical autoencoder system. The uh, actual autoencoder system uh, map the um, uh, input data in the latent space, which is um, much smaller than the input, and then create the same amount the output like input. And the right side figure shows the equivalent of the quantum autoencoder, which is for the 636, because the qubit uh, input qubit is 6. And the uh, legend qubit is uh, three, which is the middle, and the output is the six qubit. Recently, uh, a multi-level image classification was proposed um, using quantum compression neural networks. Uh, this is the circuit diagram for multi-level compression neural network. They use the two um, qubits, sorry, eight qubit for amplitude mapping because uh, this method is used the FRQI. That's why they map the amplitude rather than mapping the pixel. And the uh, uh, and the rest eight ancillary qubit are used in the controlling rotation guide and also for measuring purposes. Sorry, uh, I uh, forgot to mention the limitation. The limitation of, of this method is limited to the four class object classification and also is take the uh, angle based approximation. Based on the uh, literature review, uh, we found the uh, three uh, limitation or three gaps. 
The first one is that the existing method could not handle a high resolution images. The second one is that the existing method did not consider the special or temporary correlation for autoencoder for compression purposes. The third one is the existing method could not handle a multi-class object classification. The research question are, the first question is, can we simplify a state connection so that we can handle high resolution images? And the second one is, can you include attention-based autoencoder by incorporating a special and temporal correlation and simplify the better compression? The third uh, question is, can you handle multi-class object classification using reduced image data from the solution of the above two research questions? This figure uh, shows the conventional uh, method uh, that's basically directly uh, map the image picture value in the quantum domain. That means the classical uh, pixel value that's deeply mapped in the quantum pixel value. And this is the uh, our whole proposed methodology we have used in our whole research. Um, first, we used the classical MS. After that, we used the preparation approach like DCT and DWT. For DCT, we use eight by eight. And for DWT, we use the um, uh, four content like a severe combination of LL1, ACL1, and then we do the quantization for more compression. Excuse and then... me. Can I take my phone? Yeah. Just, sorry. Hello. 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 هم ماکارونی برش گرم کنیم تخم مرغ بشکنی روش یا از اون شوید پلاها با تخم مرغ یا تنمایی لوبیا یا تنمایی با پلا خب حال بگو چی خب حال بگو خود چیکار داشتی خب من حالا هنو یه ساعت دیگه خواه ها بگو ها خب باش هرچی نداریم به نویس میگیرم یا ها یه چیزی به بچه هم بخور کنه داره حالا بگو اسموتی بعدش من خودم یه درست میکنم یا میتونی یا میتونی اسموتی با اون انباها و چیزا درست کنی موز نمیخواد بریزی بگو اشکال نداره به این موز بخوره باش. باش من فقط برام بفرست چیا میخوای خدا بس ساری ارشد بود نه نه ایسا که ایسا نه در فاینال بزندشن اکی سکنه ایسا یه یه آه تنکیو After then, uh, we prepared the coefficient value, that's when PGL value or uh, test from coefficient value and its corresponding position and make it appropriate for representing the quantum domain. And after that, we will do some investigation for quantum autoencoder, efficient quantum autoencoder. And like the same, we will try to develop the new object classification approach, which is more than uh, efficient uh, uh, present one. Uh, this is the first uh, method uh, we did integrate, uh, integrate the DCT approach with the EFRKY. Previously, the EFRKY was the um, amplitude-based representation. That means the outcome is the uh, non-probabilistic, non-deterministic, sorry, uh, same things, non-deterministic. And um, we, we uh, integrate the DCT, and then we, um, we, we see that it's provided the more better result with the previous method one because uh, if you uh, indicate the DCD, then it represents the lower number of coefficient and it's required lower bit for compression. And this is the two related. I already mentioned about the preparation approach. And we use the uh, DCD preparation approach. The left figure shows the DCD preparation approach and the right figure shows the DWD preparation approach. Those images are collected from uh, from the database of several universities or some data sources. Uh, we are used to we use those images to verify our proposed method result. 
Here is the full image is shown. One is for deer, uh, is the top left, and then cameraman. And then the top left bottom issues the airport image, and the right bottom issues the scenery image. The right uh, table shows the corresponding image size. As the result of our uh, first method, this result shows that um, for the DIMS, um, actually uh, we computed the result for DCT, for 8 by 8 DCT as a preparation approach, and then we represent the image in the quantum domain, and uh, we combine the serial uh, DWT combination uh, with its um, label, like LL1, LL2, ACL1, ACL2. Uh, we only show here result LL1 or LSL1 because those results only that we got the better result. That's why we did not choose shows the other result. But we, ha we have a computed uh, the result further also. The result shows that the proposed uh, DCT EFR QI shows better compared to the DCT um, GA QI. And this is the uh, result for scenario MS. The comparison result shows that uh, via DCT uh, P version, we did not uh, use. Uh, rest of my result because the PBS result shows that the DCT is the better perform compared to the DWT. That's why we choose the DCT as a preparation approach for uh, rest of our study. This is the comparison result for a scenario MS. The scenario MS shows that for every condition uh, factors, uh, the proposed DCT effect shows the better performance compared to the DCT GQR, GQIR. And the left uh, figure shows the result for cameraman. The same uh, things is happening here, like uh, PBS scenario images. But this one is the 192 into 192 images. The PBS one is uh, 500, 512 into 512. This is the result for the airport. Uh, this is, uh, the size of the airport image is 1024, 1024. And here we also found that um, the picture is the high resolution. The proposed uh, method is perform the better result, although the image is the high. The right side figure shows the uh, comparison of the compression rate, that means compression ratio, with a uh, DCT GQA and our proposed DCT EFQA. Here we shows only for two quantization factor. One is for eight, and another uh, is for seventy. It just shows that if we apply the 70 quantization factor, then the DCT EFA can perform better compression than other quantization factor. The top uh, it will shows the compression ratio and the corresponding space saving uh, for our considered images. For the DR images, the EFA shows the 69%, while the GQ shows the 11%. The cameraman shows the 61 and the other GQR shows the 16. Uh, like the same other scenario and the airport images, the proposed EFQ approach shows the better space saving. This table, the bottom table shows the um, result via P version approach. We use the DCT only because I already mentioned previously. We did not study uh, further for about uh, DWT performance because it, it shows that uh, DCT performed the better. That's why we, sorry, we consider the DCT. This result also shows that the DCT EFQ shows the better performance compared to the DCT GQRA for space saving and both for compression. This is the figure uh, for our second purpose method. Rather than applying the Toffoli gate for each peak gel twice time, we uh, propose a Nobel reset gate in closing a connection for each peak gel. And then we calculated uh, the budget required for direct cases and also the indirect mean and via the preparation process. Sorry. And this is the uh, images we consider for verification of our second method. We consider uh, two extra, two method, uh, two uh, images like baboon and papers because baboon image has lots of edges and paper image is lots of noises. Our thinking, how our purpose method perform if the images has lots of images or, or noises. The right table shows the corresponding size. This is the uh, result, the bar graph shows the result of the color image. Uh, this method we apply for the color image the red, green, and blue channel, and we compare the result of our proposed method with the previously um, applied method like EFRQI, INCQI, and NCQI. Because uh, I, I compare with the INCQI and NCQI because those methods are 
too much popular for color image representation. That's right. And the table uh, shows the record number of bits via p version. Sorry, uh, record number of bits excluding DCT across. If we apply, uh, then uh, SC, uh, SCM, that means our purpose method and NCQI and INCQI. Uh, the uh, above method is shows that for DRMS, the rest is shows for the other three MS like baboon MS, scenario MS, and paper MS. Okay. We can see that uh, the, the result for our purpose method is really performed better compared to the other method like uh, NCQI and INCQI. This is the uh, method for uh, the red channel, uh, like uh, DRMS and the baboon MS and Sinai and paper MS. For every cases of images, we see that the purpose result perform uh, better compared to the previous method. The table uh, shows the green channel result. Uh, here we, uh, we shows the result for contention eight and 17 for each images. And then, uh, and compare our result with the PBS method, and result shows that the, our method uh, need uh, is better uh, apart from the better result because it need the lower required bits compared to the other. The bottom table uh, shows the, the blue channel of the uh, our purpose methods uh, for DR baboon scenario paper uh, invest, but the quantization is used here is eight. The result shows that. The still the proposed uh, method require a lower amount of bit rate compared to the other method like NCQI and INCQI and EFQI. This is the third method of our research. Uh, after that, uh, we uh, propose if we discard the zero connection from the estimated preparation, then we think that we can save lots of bit from this um, from this modification. We discard the zero from the estimated version except the initial connection. And this one is the pixel domain representation. Um, that's mean the direct representation without applying the DCT EFRQI. And the result shows that the proposed uh, result uh, still require uh, uh, less amount of bits. That means it provides more, uh, it can represent the image in a more efficient way. The first result shows the left corner result shows the DRMS and compare the result with the other PBS method. And then the baboon MS, then the scenario MS, then the paper MS. In every case, uh, we have seen that uh, the proposed method were the superior performance because it discard the zero, while the other method did not uh, consider this phenomena. And this is the taxonomy, actually. Uh, this taxonomy is developed by me, actually, since I know that every uh, how many uh, classification in quantum there, and we think that uh, this is needed in quantum representation compression. That's why we make it. And this is the three years timeline uh, because I just finished one year and still I have a two years remaining. And um, I divided the activity in three years. In the first year, um, we already finished um, uh, until here, April, so in March. The later we have a plan to study with the in quantum auto encoder for image compression, that large scale image compression. And then we, we have a plan to investigate in, in multi in object classification, uh, which is uh, beyond uh, four. That means it can classify more object. And then uh, we have a plan to write in the last six, six months this writing. Those are the references we consider for our research. This is the publication based on our research findings. The first one is the journal article. We already uh, published one journal article in Nasser Scientific Reports. Uh, this is the Q1 journal. Its impact factor is five, four, five, nine, nine. And then we have submitted two conference paper. One is in the ICAS, who is already accepted. And the second one is under uh, review in the ICP IP. I would like to acknowledge the uh, CSU RTB scholarship because this research is supported by the CSU grant. Thank you everybody for listening. Thank you, Urshadu. Um, Do you have any question? Yeah, it was a nice presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Farhad. And uh, I have some question. Uh, can you go through 
page two. Page two, yeah. Yeah. Could you please explain more a little bit about the theory of uh, the, this third image? Third image? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, this one is the pure quantum mechanics. Uh, in quantum mechanics, quantum mechanics work on a spinning system. That means you see the dashes line and the above dash from the middle uh, and to the above. This one is represented in geocubits. If the um, uh, quantum is spinning up, then it's represented in geocubits. If it's spinning down, then it's represented the uh, one qubits. And also it can represent the mix of those two qubits uh, in other places also like uh, uh, in near zero or near one, maybe it's uh, this is called the superposition of G one one, maybe zero one one zero, or zero zero one or one and zero. This is a combination of zero and one. This is called the super um, superposition of qubits. This is the uh, the three dimension. Thank you. And the next page, please. The next slide. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Number three. Yeah, this is the basic for quantum image representation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, okay. And um, about your result in your first method, could you please go to your um, result for the result? Yeah. I forgot the page number. Okay. Okay, here you have three research questions and you answered, I think the first one, it is the, you, um, you can handle it somehow high resolution images. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, oh, you need to answer the second. Uh, and third. Yeah, and third. Okay, okay. And also, could you please do the first uh, result? Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is the first reason. Yeah, and I need the table because. Oh. Table. Here's the table. Yeah. Uh, here, did you compare the PSNR also with the. Um, Original one? Yeah, sure. Actually, um, we have a PSNR. Uh, if you consider the DCT method, then we have a PSNR. But if we uh, did not consider the PSNR, then we don't have the, uh, sorry, uh, if we don't consider the preparation method uh, like DCT, and uh, we, we no need to um, calculate the PSNR because uh, we um, representing every uh, binary bits in the quantum. There's no losses. That's oh, why you, uh, it's it's lossless compression. Yeah, it's actually. lossless compression. If you uh, if you don't apply that D, uh, DCT as a preparation approach, then it's no need. Yeah. Okay. And for the third uh, method, you have some uh, PSNR as well. Yeah. That um, that means we, we apply the uh, DCT. If yes. there's a PSNR, then we apply the. PSNR. Yeah. Can we see the the, the PSNR the, there? Yes, here, I think. This is the third the method? Third. Yeah, the previous one. Previous one? Okay. Yes, yeah. here. Yeah. And you have some uh, quality assessment here? Yeah. In decibel? And it's for your method? Yeah, um, we have both our method also and their method also. Uh, but yeah. then for them, it's just for required bit rate. Not this actually the same. Um, the PSNR is uh, same for every every method. Right? Yeah, because, because because the architecture the architecture is changing with, uh, with the state preparation, not in the big gel. That's okay. why it, it, it did not uh, effect on the PSNR value because the, we done the modification in the state position. Yeah. Okay. So this is the PSNR just same. against the original image. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh, okay. uh, uh, the PSNR is same for every every images. That's why I put the uh, one PSNR and you see. Okay, uh, thank other. you. Thank you. That's it. Very good presentation. Thank you. So can I eat? Congratulations. <laughs>